Today we're making a coconut rum pineapple upside down cake. I'm starting by making the caramel for my topping. So I'm melting butter and brown sugar and two tablespoons of rum. Oh, and preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. An upside down cake is exactly what it says. It's baked with the topping on the bottom of the pan. When it's done, you flip it and you have an already decorated cake. And to me, that's the best thing about this cake. Once it starts to get that golden caramel color, remove it from the flame and pour it into your baking pan and arrange your fruits in the caramel however you want. Now set that aside and get started on your batter. A stick and a half of butter creamed for about a minute and a half to get some air into it before gradually adding your sugar. Use your spatula to get all the butter and sugar that are stuck to the sides of the pan. Mix that together, then add your eggs one at a time and wait until it's fully incorporated before adding another one. This ensures that each egg is thoroughly mixed and your batter doesn't separate and is not able to hold all those air bubbles you just created. Now combine your flour, baking powder and salt and sift those together into your batter. Add your liquid ingredients which is pineapple juice, vanilla and this is where the coconut comes in, coconut yogurt and another tablespoon of rum. Don't overmix this. As soon as the flour is incorporated, stop mixing. Your topping should be set by now. If not, carefully pour the batter on top so you don't shift the fruit. Level it with your spatula and bake for 45 minutes on or until the skewer inserted into the center comes out clean. A little crumb on your skewer is fine, you just shouldn't have any wet batter. After you have removed it from the oven, let it sit for 5 minutes in the pan, then turn it out onto your serving plate. And you should be very careful because it's still very hot. If you have a sweet tooth and you're just not into frosted cakes, then this is definitely the cake for you. It is just absolutely yummy with fruit topping. Who doesn't like fruit topping? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, thanks for watching.